WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we have a sea of green out there as far as the U.S. indices. You've got the Dow up 322, S&P's up 41, NASDAQ 100, 129, Russell 54, semis up 97, trend is up 156, nice movement out there. Gold's up 28 bucks, silver 53 cents, lights recruit up a buck 40. Now it's a gas off 2 cents, 30 treasury is up 25, ticks per down at 124.26. We got action out there let's try to figure out what all this means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side well that's not it how about let's try this set of charts out here es mini made it all the way up to the top of its daily profile out there the top of that profile is at 56.65 and a quarter we got up to 56.62 and a quarter so that new profile did take hold you want to uh, note that 56.16 is supporting again to get that 56.65 level now there's a td9 count top that is in place the only way that gets negated is a close above the top of that daily profile spot volatilnix is trading a bit lower yesterday it closed just above the 50-day exponential moving average the 50-day print at 1686 we're trading at 1665 a price would have closed the day above 1686 that'd be two consecutive closes above that 50 day and we would uh, likely have a change in trend with regard to at least the spot fix um when I say change the trend, it really would just uh, it would tell us that we're likely going to go move up to 2105. In the case of the NQ, also forming a new profile, has a TD9 count top. That would be negated with a close above 20.025 and a quarter. Support, that's also the top of the profile. Support is at 19.326. You've got the U.S. dollar index that, uh, boy, what a perfect three drive to a bottom pattern that is uh, failing. Um, and it will fail miserably if we get a close below the low of two days ago. And that's at 100.78. So you had to buy the D point, you had a nice little bull sash candle, you had a perfect three drive because, I mean, when I say perfect, from a timing standpoint, that first low, July 17th, the second low out there, August the 5th, and the third low coming in with that uh, bullish reversal candle yesterday on August 22nd. One would have thought that price was going to head higher for the U.S. dollar index, but we did get a new profile prices below that, and that's a bearish condition out there. If we take a look at Goldilocks consolidating with inside its profile. Support at 2489, resistance at 2560. Silver has a new profile as well. Support zone 2751 to 2807. Resistance up at the 20, I'm sorry, the 3003 level out there. Uh, lights we crude. Also forming a new profile. Its new resistance level is up at 75.10. Uh, natural gas trading below profile support for two consecutive sessions. Should go target as TD9 count bottom. That's the candle from August the 5th out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fabulous Friday, a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you again on Marvelous Monday. Take care.